This is just for the music. Three, two, music. Welcome to BETV, Beyond Expectations Television, where everyday teens ask real questions and share experiences in their own real words. And now, welcome to today's awesome co-host and special guests. Ready in five, four, three, two. Our guest today is Chantal Benbury, who is the author of the series Honey Bunch Kids. She is also a motivational speaker and a entrepreneur. Hello, how are you today? Good, I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having me. No problem. Um, what inspired you to start writing? Um, well, when I was 11 years old, my cousin and I were at our grandmother's house one day, just relaxing, and he was sitting on the floor drawing his own cartoon characters. And I was younger than him, so I wanted to be exactly like him. So I decided I would create my own characters as well. And it was one girl and two boys. And the girl's name was Dizzy, and her two friends were named Cheeks and Stuart. And I had the characters, and I would draw them every single day so I could practice drawing them, and they would look the same every single time. And when I was in the sixth grade, my mother sent me to a writing camp at Middlesex County College because I loved to write. And at the camp, you would sit at the computer for two weeks and write your own book. And at first, I didn't know what to write about, but then I remember that I had these characters that I came up with a year ago. So I wrote a story about those characters, and... After the camp was over, the camp mails back your book, like you have a, a hard copy of your own book, so it's so cool. And when we got the book in the mail, my mom and I said, you know, this is a pretty cool story. I think we should self-publish this. It'll give you something outside of school to do. So this is what the finished product looks like. It's called The Honey Bunch Kids. And I published this book when I was 13 years old, and the feedback I got from kids was that they loved it. They wanted to see the kids more in school, so I followed up with a second and third book. This is the second book. It's called School in Session, book one, and two new characters are introduced, um, Bubblegum Boy and Corinne, and then I came out with a third book um, called School in Session, book two. This is what it looks like. And the plot of the Honey Bunch Kids is basically that you have these kids, and they're in the sixth grade, and they have a very strict teacher, and they have to learn how to get along with one another and to buy their class. So that is the story of the Honey Bunch Kids and how it came to be. Oh, are, you, are you planning on writing any more books? Are you in the process of doing so? Um, I'm not writing any more books, but currently I'm working on a screenplay, which is a script for a, a movie. Eventually, I want to develop the Honey Bunch Kids into an animated film slash series. Wow. So I'm doing a screenplay, and I'm also working on some 24-minute episode ideas for the Honey Bunch Kids. And it's basically based off of all three of these books. So that's great. Thank you. Um, do you, do you what, what else do you do in your spare time? Because, you know, you are 16 years old, so I'm sure you like to hang out with your friends. And... Yeah, definitely. I have a lot of friends. I love hanging out with friends. Um, I love to write. I love reading. Um, I play tennis. I'm a big tennis person. I've been playing tennis since I was four years old, and I'm on the varsity team. I do that. And I also sing in my church choir every other Sunday at both services. So I do singing, tennis, and I hang out with friends, and I write. Um, if you if you had a, like another, if, sorry, let me word my question properly. Um, if you were to write another book, what like not the Honey Bunch series, what what would it be about? It would probably be about life as a high schooler. Since I was 11, I wrote about kids who were 11, like the Honey Bunch kids. But now since I'm older, I'd probably write a series based on the real life experiences that kids go through every day in high school. Because I think that people love reading stuff that's real because they can relate to it more. So that would probably be what my next book would be about. And what is the process exactly of publishing your own book? Like, I'm sure it must have been hard. Yes, um, I self-published The Honey Bunch Kids because I'm under 18. Mm -hmm. When you're over 18, you go through a literary agent, and the agent gets you a book deal, and it, you know, publishes your book for you. But as a self-published author, I had to write up the book myself on Microsoft Word, and I sent it to them, and they put it in a really nice format for me, and they emailed it back to me saying, are you happy with this? And if not, I would make changes, send it back to them, they would make the changes, send it back to me. It's like a back and forth process.
And then when you're finally happy with what the company has done with your work, then you publish it, and that's your book. Since you're in high school, um, I can only imagine writing is your favorite subject. Um, yes. Besides writing, what um, what other subject is you, is you like do you enjoy? Hmm. I would have to say history or global studies. Actually, that's the class I'm taking now. Um, there's a lot of reading and writing involved in global studies, and I like learning about different cultures and learning about different foreign affairs. So that would have to be my favorite second favorite subject. Yes, my high school is a lot of fun. We have a lot of diversity at my school, um, so it's good to mingle with other cultures and different people, different backgrounds, and we have a lot of different electives that fit students' interests, like we have different art courses you can take if you're into art, we have business courses, courses if you like business, we have all types of classes and all types of people, and the teachers are really, really cool, so I love my school. Um. In, let's say, I don't know, 20 years, where do you see yourself? Um, I see myself somewhere in media, like television. I thought that I would go into business, since I do have a passion for business, but I plan on going to college at Hampton University in Virginia and majoring in journalism and communications. And I plan to learn, like, behind-the-scenes production of television, like how you guys are doing here. And one day, I hope to get my foot in the door that way and do the Honey Bunch Kids as an animated series on a network. So I see myself in media somewhere. Is, is Hampton where, where, is that, like, your top choice? Yes, that's my top choice. I'm really excited. I went down to high school day on Friday, mm -hmm. and that's where I discovered that the place I belong is a journalism school in Hampton. So I'm very excited to go there. You visited there before? Yes, I did. It was very nice. Yeah. My aunt went there. My mom went there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. I'm probably drawing. I love to write, but there's just something about cartooning that I just love. But I don't really draw outside of my own characters. I love coming up with new expressions and new scenarios. I watch a lot of cartoons. I like SpongeBob SquarePants, favorite cartoon ever. Um, I study their different expressions, the different movements, and I learn from it, and I put them into my own art. So I love to draw a little bit more than writing. Um, the main character would probably be uh, this character, her nickname is Dizzy, but her real name is Desiree. She is the main character in the series, but in the screenplays that I've written, I've added more and more characters. So it's not really one main character. It's more like the Honey Bunch kids are a group, and the whole thing is based off of them. But in the series, Dizzy is the main character. She's the leader. She's the one who um, pushes her friends to do certain things. She's like the their comfort when they're unsure of what to do next. She's like the rock of the group. Um, I don't really know. I think I just look at them and I see what name fits. Desiree, like I had the nickname Dizzy way before Desiree. Her nickname was actually going to be Disney, but then I changed it to Dizzy because I thought it was more original, obviously. But um, Desiree, it sounds like Dizzy, I think that's where I got it from. And then her two friends, Cheeks, he's obviously he's got big Cheeks, so his name is Cheeks. His real name is Chauncey, and my mother had a friend in high school who was kind of overweight, and his name was Chauncey, so that's Chauncey. Um, the rest of them, I think, I just thought of names based off of people who I know. So it's not like I said, thought what name should I come up with for these characters. It's kind of flew. Yeah. Um, when you were in the process of writing the book and publishing it and illustrating it and everything, how did you balance your schoolwork and life in school? I always get my work done first before I do any writing. Every day, like, I come home from school, I do my homework, and then I sit at the computer and I think of some new ideas for the Honey Bunch Kids. Um, right now, the Honey Bunch Kids is more of like a hobby right now, so it's easy to balance the schoolwork and the Honey Bunch Kids, because I make time for it when I can. So it's been very easy the past five years that I've been doing it. I just, I've always been a person who's known how to do my work and balance other things, so not so hard. Three and two. What do you think that if you weren't um, into writing books or writing at all and you were going to college, what do you think you would major in? That's good one. I think I'd major one. in law. Um, I've been doing public speaking since I was like eight years old, so 
law, being a lawyer, you know, it's a lot of speaking, a lot of reading. Since I do love to read, I think that would, that is where I would end up in the future. Take two. And do you plan on writing any more children's three. books? Um, probably not. Um, as of right now, the Honey Bunch of Kids is it, but if I experience new things in my life when I get older, perhaps I could write some more children's books. Um, when I saw the feedback that kids gave me based off of these books, the books are targeted for kids ages 7 to 12, boys and girls, and they just fell in love with the characters, and at first I didn't think kids would like it. But they came to me and said, you know, this, this, this book is so funny. I love the characters. I love that Cheeks character. Can you write more? Can you write more? So I was like, oh, wow, people like the book. So I guess I should keep writing. So the kids really motivate me to keep at it with the Honey Bunch kids. One, two, what advice two. could you give to young, aspiring writers? Um, my biggest advice to young, aspiring writers would be to always write about what you know. Because when you write about what you know, it's reality. And people like reading about or watching a film that is real because they can relate to it. And then they want to sit there and look at it some more because they feel that they have a connection to it. And I also advise you to stay around people who encourage you and not discourage you from doing what it is that you want to do in life. Because if you hang around a bunch of negative people, then eventually you're going to give up on your dream and you'll never write your book that's been inside of you for all these years. So hang around people in school or in your life who are uplifting and that'll push you to do the best. You you look amazing. Thank you. Um, what do you do to stay healthy and in shape? Um, mainly I do tennis. Like I said, I've been playing tennis since I was four. Um, I try not to eat unhealthily. Um, I try to like watch what I eat. We were, I was in health class um, last quarter and we learned all about like processed foods and now I'm like, oh no, stay away from processed foods. So mainly tennis, um, pretty much it. Yeah. I don't do any other sports. Like, my mom thought that I was going to be a basketball player because when I played tennis as a younger child, I was so fast on the court. And my mom was like, oh, if you're fast, do basketball. But I ended up being terrible at basketball, so no other sports for me, just tennis. All right, well, thank you for coming to our show. That is all. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. You've been watching BETV, Beyond Expectations Television. Thanks to today's co-hosts and special guests, and thanks to you for tuning in. To learn more about our programs, visit us at beyondexp.net.